Hello everybody, welcome to the final round of 16 match of Seasons 53 CCL playoffs. We've got Engelbert Hex and his Min Max Dwarves versus Malala Noose and his Skaven with Stat Freaks and a Wizard. So, yeah, only 12 players, but I guess one, and this is a induced, uh, I guess this is a, uh, what's it called? Um, I can't remember what they're called. Mercenary. Mercenary, mercenary thanks. A mercenary lineman. A wizard and yeah some glorious started up gutters um versus just a normal dwarf team and in the booth with me is fine here hello hello everybody so it's a team of a uh, lot of players with lots of skills versus a team with very few players but the players that have skills have all of them mm. yeah incredible some incredible right so we're going to start off with a the rat dacker Love to say, oh, maybe not. Oh, I no, so he's been tempted by the... He was tempted by the throne you, rock. Is like, it going to come? Oh. I mean, before this gets any worse, let's dedicate rats. this what game to our viewers. I mean, play that in... Let's see, let's see what countries. Uh, Sri Lanka, wait a second, this one already appeared. But for those that doesn't know, uh, the national flower of Sri Lanka is the Nil Mahanel. And the national dish is the Kotu Roti. Mm -hmm. There you go. So I guess he's just going to quick score. Because of that, he's just going to quick score. Because I mean, that's a hell of a player. You know, like stand firm, guard. So I guess by just you just go for the score here and then um, scoring two or three, use the wizard to turn over, two nil up, and you've won, right? I guess that's 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 the plan. That's the game I'll plan. Say... Sounds all right. Mm. It's kind of easier to do than a DACA, right? You could do the DACA and you could just fail to score completely. So at least this guarantees you 1 0 up and you've got a chance of going 2 0 up. But you've also just got a chance of getting 2 on grinded. I mean, he's going to have to score probably next turn. Yeah, because the dwarves are gonna get in position very quickly. Yep, diamond tackles a pain in the ass. <laughs> Obviously, he's got nowhere to go because he, uh, he didn't back her. Higher than a two on grinder. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Where has that come from? <laughs> Let's not forget that the Sammy is from Florida, so... <laughs> I don't know what I am on Grinder. I'm definitely on Grinder though, because... Uh, <laughs> Wait, because, what? <laughs> because Wanger signed me up. <laughs> Without my knowledge, he took a photo of me and then signed me up. <laughs> well, you should check how are you doing, you know? Could be a good boss boost, you know, to your morale, say I'm having lots of matches there. <laughs> He said I got messages and like I mean you know like I never like he just signed up he didn't really like he signed up as me and uh, and he said he's had he's had messages and stuff but uh, there you go. <laughs> I'll be a two one grind yeah right, I get it I get it I get it. <laughs> Sweet, plenty of Florida boys off their love <laughs> Oh, God. There you go. Wait. He's not going to score. No, he's got a, he's got a turn here, hasn't he? They're just a bit dodgy, the, uh, the diamond tackle. The thing is, though, if he can get a gutter into the end zone, he can hand off to the gutter, can't he? So, I guess the diamond tackle isn't that big an issue. <laughs> That's true. I don't know. I was thinking actually of uh, of putting um, <laughs> of putting my uh, Bert's record on my profile. <laughs> 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 it's gonna be funny, mate. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so I can show it to people and say, look at this. <laughs> Why not? Oh, there you go. Didn't even try to get down and tackle on the ball. Didn't try and stall it out another turn. Interesting. You might have tried to stall out another turn just because, you know, you would have the handoff option, right? But you couldn't really stop. But I guess he just wasn't worth getting his gutters hit. I guess that was the deciding factor. He didn't want the gutters hit. Not that he couldn't get another turn stall, but just gutters getting hit. Yeah, the they got as well. We we're going to have a rough day. And now he's got five turns to use his wizard to turn over the dwarves and win. Yeah. So am I, to be honest, looking on numbers. So am I. But there you go, they didn't. I mean, it was hard, right? It was hard. But you'd have thought they would have done more than what they did. Well, I'd have thought they did more than what they did. Almost absolutely, yeah, dog to the dog. I mean, that has to be the plan, right? That ha the, ha the plan has to be. Yes. Unless there is a blitz and the rats can uh, break through without having to use the wizard, I think the wizard is going to be used here very quickly. Yeah. Yeah, I think you have to go all in. You've got an edge five and an edge six, right? So you've got like you go in, whiz, win. Simple as. Simple as. CCL not yet run bad, not yet. I'm working on it. I I could show you a preview of it if you want. I've, I'm, it's just it's been really rough. But, um, I've got the concept done. I've I've got the line work almost finished. But it's just I've been really ill to be honest. Glorious run bad. Yeah, I'll post it when I finished it. I'll post it in the. Uh, in the Discord, uh, you know the CCL one, and I'll, I'll, I'll get that. I'll get Gary or whatever to at everyone. That's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, round three, round sixteen, and then glorious, glorious run bad. I'll be proud of you. I'll be proud of you, man. If you, if you win thirty percent of your games, that'll be an improvement for you, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just remember to foul with your best player. <laughs> Banter! <laughs> <It's a goal. laughs> Here we go, look. So, we, right? Surely Engelbert Hex had to know this was coming, right? We all knew this was coming. Yes. And and yet he's allowed, you know, he's not defended the ball very well. And the rats are straight around the sides, they're all in. He's He has got to, like, control this so he doesn't get scooted past, right? He's got to not get scooted past, that's the biggest thing. Um, so that does kind of put... Maybe this assist should have been done by a uh, gutter, right? Um, rather, th so he had a... He had alignment to put in like this kind of more exposed position here or here uh, that he's not filling. I know, right, Timmy? Unbelievable. I mean, this looks really tough. This looks really tough. Oh man. Oh man, this is. I mean, we have to wizard next turn. Yes. IG6, IG5, still standing. Diamond tackle on the edge 6, that's great. <laughs> Praying for a double 1, probably. Yeah, it literally does nothing to him. <laughs> it does nothing, it's the same as a regular uh, dodge. Yeah. One in thirty-six of failing. Yeah. Yeah, it's the wizard death and like bolt. Yes, that's that's the. Uh... This is quite good though, actually. This is quite good getting him down. There's likely something there. But I mean, yeah, just obviously bolt two D him, crack it open, get it at the edge. Yeah. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the Dublin skulls. Well, that's not a great start, is it? No, but the. Uh, it makes things more interesting. Yeah, so he comes in for the assist here. And the thing is, even if the rats don't manage to get the ball right now, doesn't matter that much, it's still a horrible situation for the dwarves. Mm. Did you just dodge through here? No. I wonder if you should have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and just scored. But maybe not, right? Because it would be a three plus. This is pretty good, isn't it? This is pretty good, to be fair. Yes. Could have handed off the Navi, yeah. But it would be, I mean, that would be a 2+, plus, wouldn't it? So it's like... Without a reroll, that's the thing, was you've got rerolls for a lot of the dodges, haven't you? Like, if you come through here, right? Three, three, two with a reroll. The score was pretty good. Oh, chunky Chihuahua uh, bringing the news that the rats will have claw, but uh, he managed to solve that problem. <laughs> There's some good battling by Engelbert Hex here, you know, he's just done the, done the things to give him a shot, but. Uh, Sure is asking a lot. Could he have done something else there? Oh, I double ones. Oh man. Yeah, I guess there was that guy could have. Um... Oh, and the ball goes. There you go, double well, one. Brilliant, brilliant yeah. use of the diamond tackle. <laughs> Not that, of course, it was bad play to have the diamond tackle on him. It's just, you know, just the guy who happened to be there, right? It's just kind of fun to see because he's at six. It's not a serious critique of Engelbert Hex's play, but I think he should have, uh, you know, had a better lineup from him. And he really wants to get this pick up a handoff to the other runner. Because, like, you want to score here, right? Because if you just make it 1 1, they could one turn and you could lose an overtime. So I think it probably is worth trying to hand off to the runner here. Oh, I guess you can just double GFO. Well, now the dwarves are going to need to run very quickly. Yeah, yeah, okay, and just double GF. Double GF is better than a handoff, right? Two, two pluses. Should have done, I mean, could have done one this turn. Has to do one next turn. This one the next turn, so in case of failure, he uh, can use the reroll, and then he has the other reroll for the last one. Yeah. And all of a sudden, there's like no rats left, and being 1 0 up having used your wizard <laughs> and is a lot worse than uh, being 2 0 up and having won, isn't it? <laughs> yep. It might even be 1 1. It's just two GFIs away. I might just blitz this guy, isn't it? It's yeah, seriously. blitz that guy. Guys.
defenseless. Armor rig. I would really like the GFI's last turn, to be honest, but. Has to do one now, so that you can't get pushed back. As well as like, you know, just being optimal in terms of re-roll management. And I'll re-roll this because it's the last action of the down. Mm, and does he have to do another one is the question. He's not going to. And the rats decide he has to run away. <laughs> For a better tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna. The H5 is gonna come in for 2B. Oh. Fails. Ah, now is there a, is there a sexy play here? 1, 2, 3, 4, no. 1, 2, 3, 4. So he could go to here, he could punch him and then chain him back, and then he could punch him and chain him forward. Right, that that's the that's the clever play. Well done, Jim. Thank you. There you go. Congratulations. I hope you use that knowledge when you start playing a uh, chalice <laughs> soon. Yeah, I will. Could have saved himself this GFI, yeah. and you know, we've seen it. We've seen it cost people in chalices before, right? Uh, famously yeah, against yeah, Kadenik. No, no, no. That, that, uh, when he when he said "fuck you" when you bang away. <laughs> Um, had he chained blocks, he could have uh, cut the GFI and and won the match. His opponent can't remember his opponent. And suddenly, I don't know. No, there is the other way. Uh, he comes to the GFI. Oh, get three dice. That's good, especially when you're uh, yes. Hello PC. Yeah, I mean they they certainly tried. They just rolled a double one. But you know, like if the dice had been differently, if the dice had gone differently, it would have been two and up GG, wouldn't it? So they didn't go differently, and now it's one one, and the wizard's been used, and it's uh... it was dry. Can we bench the one turner? No, they've got to field it. So now I guess the whole half is just protecting the one turner, right? Because literally the whole half is just protect this one turner. I would start deeper. I would defensive Daka, start deeper. And then obviously just use the other two gutters to screen this one and just, just keep him alive. But as it is, he's, he's blitzable on turn one, which is not great. He's also diving tackleable. But, you know, you can have a tackler next to him and the diamond tackle on the, uh, on the gutter. There's still a gr the vague threat of a, of a turnover from the rats. I'm bringing back a few people to help. Uh, sorry, I'm back. I went to grab a gun. No problem. Ugh. Pom, is he going to follow? He's going to follow the base the end of but is he going to pile on? He is! Glorious. Always pile on. Yes. I mean, there he could have not piled on, but he did. If you blitz with a wrestle here, one D with a wrestle, and that gives you, you know, him through and the three gutters as well. That's not what he's doing. I thought he was. That's what he was going to do at first. I guess you can need the power, right? If you do that. But it might have been worth trying.
because like it only works obviously on a 5 plus but if you get that 5 plus then you get the lino would be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the lino would be like here, and then your gutter, you'd have this gutter would be like over here, and then you know you maybe have got a chance. But... Hello, rotten blue. Blue ball two is not dead yet. No, there is going to be one more season, and then it will be pretty dead. Yes. Not for the uh, uh, lack of any fault at the GCCL people that have done more than enough. It's because uh, CNI has to kill the game to have any chance to people move to Blue Ball 3. <laughs> Call that one too. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not rocket science, is it? It was ugly. Yeah, as it, fuck. It's, it's not uh, nice to watch. Mm. Yeah. And it's not uh, very entertaining because there are uh, concessions all the time, so people get bored. Mm. Yeah, even the people who can endure how terrible it is. It's got other problems. Yeah, this was season 53, and then there's season 54 now. It's going to be the last season. 54. I'll be playing in it. I'll be playing on it. Just as soon as I've got this logo done. <laughs> Which I still haven't got finished yet, but it's been it's been a real struggle. Like, it's not, it's not actually a struggle doing it. It's just being able to do it. It's been a struggle. But, you know, I've got the concept all sorted. I've just got to... Just gotta finish it off. Looks pretty cool, to be honest. It's an actual chalice. <laughs> so oh. That's nice. Oh. Well, it was just, it, like CCL was only alive due to like the the uh, due to the volunteer admins, right? Like that's the thing, isn't it? The volunteer admins were the only thing keeping the chalice alive, and they are done with it, which is fine. The last one is the next one, which will be 54. This one, this game belongs to 53. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This match is even 53, yeah. We're down to the final eight of this cup. And so the current season is the final season. And this is the penultimate cup. There you go. That, that's that's it, isn't it? It's not just the Wemdorp trophy, no. <laughs> So it looks better than the Wemdorp trophy. You know, I don't That's want to toot my own horn. I don't want to toot my own horn, but it does look better than the Wemdorp trophy. <laughs> don't say it's over. Well, I mean, there's the there's the natty, right? There is the natty. He's about to get about to get. Pond. <laughs> Gotta reroll this. It's the whole game. Oh man, double ones. Oh my. <laughs> what a time! Uh, what a time to roll double ones. I, I, do you know what, Rant Blue? I didn't even hear whatever it was, but just some dickhead outside. I could afford. I could afford a toy line. <laughs> Do you know what's crazy? That like a Lamborghini Aventador is cheaper than a Lamborghini Countach. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? 
By a whole bunch. By quite a lot. I mean, Kantashes are expensive as fuck. <laughs> Vent the door, 170k. There you go. And Kantash should probably just be had it being fine at all. 320k, so there you go, twice as much. Pretty crazy. And a Ventadors look amazing, I think. If I was to get a Lambo, it would be an Aventador. Though, of course, the Kantash, they, uh, as a child of the 80s, I did, I did adore the Kantash. The Kantash was the, until in all the cash collections, you know, the trading uh, cards and all that, it was the... The Streaming cards. clearly going well as Jimmy is checking out Lambo prices. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, man. That's, it's doing fantastic for 40 glorious months, 10 beaver pregnancies over three years. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Jimmy does right checking those prices. I mean, now that I am affiliate, you know, I'm starting to check the prices on uh, helicopters. <laughs> yeah. The problem is, like, even if I could afford a Lamborghini, I couldn't. I couldn't have one in Darlow because it would get fucking keyed to death and stolen. And probably, if like you know, the the house would get bloody robbed, I'd get like individually targeted and stuff. Just for like you know, they'd know I was rich and stuff. It'd be it'd be a nightmare. I literally, just couldn't have a Lamborghini in Darlow. I'd imagine. I literally oh, imagine you just couldn't. One of the top uh, helicopters, the Augusta Westland Grand, is uh, around five millions. Oh, that's cheap. Yeah, yeah. Can you get a that's decommissioned Apache? That's, that's what I'd get. <laughs> I don't think I don't think you'll be allowed to get uh, one of those. You can, you can. They, they have them in Monaco. Uh, <laughs> uh, my friend w went on holiday in Monaco, and he said there was a decommissioned Apache uh, in the, you know, like somewhere there. So you might have to be really rich to be a like you know to be allowed to have one, but yeah, you can have a decommissioned Apache. Be pretty sick, wouldn't it? Those poor Lambo owners. But it's right though, right? Darlow's like a really small town, and there's some like very violent people, and so I really wouldn't be surprised if they would like, you know, if they knew somebody was like rich enough to have a Lambo. I mean, they must be rich within Darlow, though, right? They must be. There, is, there are rich people everywhere. Just not flash. Like, if you were that flash, you'd be asking to uh, <laughs> to get extorted or something, wouldn't you? There's actually... I actually know somebody super rich, actually, in Dalo, yeah. <laughs> I actually do know somebody very rich in Dalo. He doesn't have a Lambo, though. <laughs> to be fair. It looks like a different person now, he lost loads of weight, and that's not a very interesting story, but um, uh, he was a fat bastard, and now he's not. <laughs> Surgery, then probably. Mm. There's too much reduction. Well, there you go, they didn't get to the natty. So, there will be a chance. Fat Lambo, man. Yeah. So, <laughs> the Edge 5 can get it to the Natty. Oh, he's just all men's LOS. Lovely. Love to see it. Pretty good strat here. Not giving uh, any chance to the guy uh, get a spot. Just put all the eggs on the basket. Oh, obviously. Oh, wait. Obviously, there was a weakness that he spotted because he's decided against it. Where he's doing it, he's doing it wrong. He's backlining wrong. 
that's too back. Shouldn't those uh, pieces be one square ahead? Yes. Yeah, it's just this is just literally wrong. Oh my god, that's awful. I mean, it's only a two plus, but still, it's a two plus. <laughs> you know, it's a two plus plus the other rolls, so it makes it you know uh, accumulates. Uh, the chances of uh, error. Yeah. You know, at oh, plus, no, yes. actually, so, uh, right, in fairness, it's because he's got this strength 3 1, right, that could run forward and blitz 1, right? That The edge 3 could run forward and, like, blitz. Ah, blitz yeah, this yeah, yeah. Or got you, right, got blitz you, this yeah, guy, yes. something like that. So maybe, maybe that was his idea, was to make make the blitz clear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If it was one square forward, yeah, maybe that's maybe maybe it was on purpose and not just a mistake to stop the uh, blitz clear. Oh man, throw is just gonna fail the throw, isn't it? If I was a gambling oh, man, pass, pass, fail, this, <laughs> and there you go, and that's it. I mean, he double won, but still, throws are a bit shit. Uh, but yeah, I mean, double, you're nothing you can do against double one. Fifty, the guy with fifteen AV breaks to three one, unbelievable. Um, <laughs> commiserations, Malalanus. Congratulations to Engelbert Hex. Thank you very much, Fimey. Glorious having you in the booth. Glorious to be here, and I hope our viewers in Sri Lanka uh, will enjoy this game. <laughs> Indeed, and yeah, I mean, look, it was all in that wizard, right? That was that two plus. If he gets out. It's it's a win for the rats, but it, it didn't, and that's the way the crew can rumble sometimes. But you know, um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.